Welcome back to another episode of Feel Good Art. This is today's painting. It was painted in acrylic um, onto canvas paper um, using approximately a half inch brush. Um, one of the challenges of this painting was there's not much value change uh, across the painting. So um, there's not much, you know, very light lights and very dark darks. <clears throat> they're roughly all similar values so it was a challenge in that I don't think I've done a painting with such similar values before and it's a real test of uh, distinguishing very subtle changes in value um, and subtle changes in hue in colour as well so that was a good test that's one of the challenges um, and it was overcame by kind of trial and error really you know so you you mix what I think is correct on the palette and then kind of you place it onto the uh, canvas and then it becomes more obvious where it's correct. I think this was an example of a painting which took a lot of adjustment actually to, to get to where it is um, because <clears throat> I was having to sort of, you know, finally balance those different values. So yeah, one of the more challenging paintings, if not the most challenging. Um, another challenge was I what I tend to do is uh, draw the body uh, of the animal uh, or the the subject um, in watered down acrylic <clears throat> straight onto a white canvas um, so that yeah I have you know like an easy reference to go by and then I start blocking in the colours and then I do the detail over the top and then with this I didn't actually put the legs in I just left that right to the end so it was a bit of a gamble on this painting uh, putting the legs straight over the top when the chick and the background had been done already so if I made a mistake with that I would have had to re-put the background colour accurately uh, over the feet and try again um, that was a challenge um, but that, that I, I don't think I could have avoided that really with this just because the feet are, you know, have a kind of fiddly shape. Um, one thing I did, I did use the fine brush a lot more than I anticipated with this. So for the future, I mean, you know, I'd probably like to try and accomplish it with just one shaped brush, like the half inch all the way around. Like for the face, I used a finer brush. It looks great because because it has that bit of detail in. But I think. You know, sometimes it requires I, I need to be a bit more steadfast in saying that I'm going to do this painting just with a big brush and keep it loose the whole way through and not succumb to, uh, actually, I could make that a little bit more detailed. Like I need to be stronger and stick to the larger brush. Um, I think I chose the background colour because it's nice and warm, you know, ni nice and offsets the yellow. Um, you keep like a warm palette. And uh, yeah... So, going forward, lots of lessons of the nuance of the uh, different values in there. Uh, I hope you found this video very useful. I'm painting every day, I should have said this at the beginning. I'm painting, trying to paint every day and trying to make a video every day with that painting to update you about the lessons that I learned from it and the challenges and uh, you know like a fun art vlog essentially. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the painting vlogs and the different paintings and please leave a comment below uh, what you thought to the video what you thought to the painting you know how you might have painted it different yourself and uh, that's generally the theme of these videos tell me your thoughts on the painting what you might have done differently what you enjoyed about it and uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, see you in the future hopefully cheers bye